so so uh, inviting um, this conference. Uh, the title of my talk is the Transversal Infinitesimal Automorphisms and Applications on Polyated Manifold. Uh, my research area is polyation, uh, especially the uh, spin geometry on polyation and uh, infinitesimal automorphism of polyation and uh, transversal uh, harmonic maps on polyations. Uh, in this talk, I will give uh, transversal infinitesimal automorphisms on um, polyation. Uh, uh, let me uh, give by let me give the definition of relation. Uh, I will give the definition uh, precisely for the uh, students. Uh, as you know, the differential manifold, the definition of differential manifold is roughly speaking, uh, topological space M has a, a covering coordinate system U I P I such that uh, M is union. Ui and secondary Ui Ui and up speak is open disk homeomorphic and so U I yeah here the maybe is P I and then mm, transition function on U I J non empty ten <coughs> yes uh, U I U J and this is homeomorphic peak P I to open disk P N one R N and another one is P J And then uh, on the uh, over there, intersection part is here. Here, then this map is P I inverse P J, uh, and the inverse uh, this map is the peak. Then we call P I. Then uh, we call M is a uh, uh, differential manifold. So <clears throat> and the uh, uh, definition of relation is very uh, similar, but the uh, structure is this. Uh, M is uh, uh, some manifold, differential manifold. And L alpha is a connected subset of dimension P. Then uh, union of L alpha is equal to M. And we have a local system, local chart, P alpha U alpha. Uh, so the intersection of uh, uh, U alpha intersection L is a homeomorphic to a, a p-dimensional Alpine subspace. 
And uh, on the overhead, the section part, uh, the change of coordinate is satisfying this uh, form. So uh, if we sketch, yeah, U alpha have P dimensional so many fold. And another uh, offset, U beta, uh, like this one. Then, uh, Uh, this uh, intersect. This is L alpha. Yeah. So, then uh, this is homeomorphic to two-dimensional up in subspace, like this. And also P beta. Then uh, the. Transition map satisfy uh, this x, y, and uh, this transition map uh, preserving the up in subspace. So uh, p alpha y beta is like this. P alpha beta component depends on uh, x, y, and uh, second part. Just gamma alpha beta. So, uh, uh, so roughly speaking, the polated manifold is a uh, uh, union of p dimensional sub manifold. We call, in, uh, this is called uh, a rib. Yeah. And uh, uh, for examples, uh, very easy examples, m is uh, r2 minus 0, then this is a circle. So uh, this is a uh, uh, one dimensional third manifold. And uh, this is a quadratic curve. Uh, this is the parabola. This is also the uh, polarity manifold with polarization uh, alpha LA. <laughs> and uh, a smooth uh, submersion F is also uh, the example of polarization. Here the uh, ellipse is, is uh, uh, inverse image fibers of F. And uh, another one is uh, uh, if we have nowhere zero differential one form, then uh, omega defined the core dimension one polarization. Core dimension means the, uh, the dimension Q. So uh, if L is integrable, L means the kernel uh, omega. And another one is a five bundles. And another one as a, a warped product of spaces. And uh, another one is a, a, a local free action on Lie group. So, and any completely integrable art distribution defines the foliation whose ribs are its maximal connected integrable so many. And uh, also we can uh, see uh, uh, ordinary manifold uh, is polarization with uh, uh, point polarization. So, uh, non trivial example is uh, 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 repolarization. So, uh, the origin of the theory of polarization is by H. Hopp uh, on the existence of an integrable field on planes on S3. So, uh, we can uh, consider the uh, solid torus and the uh, uh, ribs is uh, uh, inverse image of uh, this function. So, <coughs> like this one. Uh, then, uh, 
Then uh, S3 is a uh, uh, union of S3 plus, S3 minus, and uh, torus. Here S3 plus is a uh, real component. T2 is the uh, uh, boundary, compact boundary. On uni, uh, 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 on one compact boundary in this correlation, uh, and the correlation on S3 has exactly one compact deep, yeah. and uh, we know uh, all all the dimensional spheres admit correlation the core dimension one, <coughs> and the correlation uh, theory is started uh, was uh, studied. Uh, uh, on the uh, uh, leaves, pollution uh, from the start. <laughs> For example, what pollution can occur on a given manifold M? What are the possible leaf types of pollution on M? Uh, can Euclid and R3 be uh, polluted by circles? Is it possible to find the pollution of M by geodesics? Can one find the pollution by uh, minimal or manifold? What is the effect of curvature properties of a metric on the possible pollution on M? Under which conditions can one compare a given pollution with a certain standard pollution? And also, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, uh, just before I said, ordinary manifold always carry the trivial, the trivial pollution by point. So the pollution theory is a natural generalization of the theory of a manifold and the submerger. <laughs> so this, this, uh, uh, these are uh, about the uh, leaf, uh, leaves. Uh, so we call this study is uh, tangential geometry. But <coughs> mm. at the word, uh, this is uh, uh, these are uh, top, uh, 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 topological aspect. Uh, so afterward, the uh, uh, geometer uh, studied the uh, uh, transversal uh, space. Uh, in other words, the quotient space. So, uh, let M is Riemannian manifold uh, with the polarization F, and L is the uh, tangent bundle of uh, polarization, uh, Q is quotient bundle. Then, uh, there is an uh, exact sequence of vector bundles. This one. So, generally, the quotient space uh, uh, does not have manifold structure, uh, but M is a complete connected manifold with bundle like metric. We give the definition uh, later. And all leaves are closed. And the holonomic group of F is trivial. Then, uh, this is a uh, uh, Riemannian manifold, and actually uh, the projection is Riemannian submersion. So the transversal geometry of formation is the geometry infinitesimally modeled by Q. In other words, the geometry of the quotient space and tangential geometry is infinitesimally modeled by L. Uh, <coughs> First, we uh, uh, define the both connection Navra bar in Q. Uh, both connection is defined by this one here. Uh, X is a uh, tangent, tangent vector uh, of the, uh, of the uh, leap, the correlation, and S is a <coughs> normal vector field then. Uh, the derivative of S in direction to X uh, is uh, uh, the projection of bracket X and YS. YS is a uh, uh, projection YS uh, uh, 
uh, pi is a projection to normal bundle, then ys means uh, just uh, pi y s is equal to s. Then uh, we have uh, curvature, uh, curvature is zero uh, according to the lead. Now, uh, this is a very nice polation. So, uh, polation is Riemannian. Riemannian means there exists a metric GQ on the normal bundle Q or satisfying GQ as holonomy invariant. That, that means is this one. So, precisely, uh, XGQ ST is equal to GQ. Yeah. So, then a uh, Riemannian metric GM on uh, M is bundle-like uh, with respect to F. That means the pi metric GQ in this on Q turns F into Riemannian. Equivalently, zeta x GQ is equal to zero. So uh, in this case, uh, we can consider the normal uh, bundle and uh, the uh, perpendicular space, normal space, L is isomorphic pigeon. Now, uh, we consider the uh, coordinate system in this case. Uh, then round over round xi spans the tangent bundle, and uh, this one spans Q. So another one, the one form omega j, this form forms the basis of alpha, L star, dual space. Then uh, this basis is a basic adapted framing to the polygon, and uh, dual frame is dual basis of Q star. Then the bundle-like metric GM is of the form locally, this one. Here, uh, uh, this is one form, L, L star, dual space, uh, dy is uh, uh, basis on Q star. Because uh, this uh, comes from um, the uh, Frobenius theorem, Uh, geometrically, GM is a bundle-like metric with respect to F, uh, if and only if all geodesic orthogonal to a rib at one point are orthogonal to each rib at every point. So, example examples, uh, P is a Riemannian submersion, then M is a polated manifold with fibers, uh, and the Riemannian metric on M is just a bundle-like metric with respect to uh, this polyation. And uh, uh, M is uh, uh, this space, the, uh, the ribs is circles, then uh, GM, GM uh, is standard metric on R2 is a uh, bundle-like metric. Another example, uh, we can consider the polyation and zero. Uh, just before I introduce the parabolic curve. Hmm. Uh, in this relation, uh, uh, the standard metric is uh, not bundle-like metric with respect to this relation uh, because uh, uh, in this space, the uh, no. in this space, the geodesic is a straight line with respect to the bundle, uh, the standard metric, but I uh, only uh, the Geodesic also R to one point is uh, every collation is just this uh, axis. Another one is uh, uh, if we choose straight line geodesic, 
uh, orthogonal to this collision, but uh, uh, this uh, geodesic is not orthogonal to any other uh, collision. So standard metric is not bundle-like metric, but we can find the bundle-like metric uh, with uh, uh, some modification. And uh, non-trivial polarization, if polarization uh, on S3 is uh, not a Riemannian polarization. And now uh, we uh, introduce the connection on Q. Uh, we call uh, transverse Levitz-Vita connection is defined by a uh, the section as uh, the derivative of a section uh, in direction to the rib is just a, a foot connection. And another one is just a restriction. Then this connection is uh, uh, metrical. Metrical means uh, uh, for all vector field x, this number x g q is equal to zero. And the torsion pull. Torsion pull means uh, 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 this is equal to zero. Yes. And then we can define the transversal curvature tensor and transversal ridge tensor and the transversal scalar curvature. Uh, Polarization F is uh, uh, said to be transversally Einsteinian. That me uh, means that. The normal uh, model space N is Einstein, Einsteinian. In other words, uh, the transversal rich curvature is a multiplication of transversal square curvature with constant transversal square curvature. For example, uh, three dimensional sphere, then uh, we, we can consider the whole vibration. Um, this whole vibration is a polarization, especially uh, this is uh, 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 transversely Einsteinian. Another one is generalized whole vibration, uh, or uh, transversely Einsteinian. F is, F is transversal Einstein, if and only if S2 is Einstein? Yes. This is uh, actually, uh, this model space N is Einstein. <coughs> uh, the mean curvature vector field of F is uh, defined by this one, uh, similarly to the third manifold. Then the, uh, this is a dual form, so uh, mean curvature form. The polarization F is said to be minimal or harmonic. This means the transversal uh, mean curvature vector field is equal to zero. And F is totally geodesic if this map alpha is equal to zero. For example, the whole vibration is a totally geodesic polarization. And a uh, differential form omega is basic if uh, i x omega i x i x means the interior product, and theta x is the transversal real derivative. X is a uh, tangent vector uh, to the uh, polarization. This means uh, we we can express the, uh, locally. A uh, basic form omega is this form. Here, important uh, thing is this function is independent of the uh, uh, leaf coordinate. So, uh, the, this basic form uh, plays an important uh, role uh, to, to the study, uh, to study the transversal geometry, transversal uh, space. So omega b is the space of basic forms. Then 
uh, any form on uh, manifold M is decomposed by uh, basic form and orthogonal part. And then we can define the, uh, the differential operator dB and the co-differential operator delta B. dB is just the restriction of the uh, uh, differential operator on the manifold. Then the co-differential is not a uh, restriction of the co-differential of D on the manifold. In fact, the co-differential delta B of dB is this form. This form co-differential contains the, uh, curve, the mean curvature form of the leaves. Here, KB means the basic component of the mean curvature K. And then we can define the uh, Laplacian delta B is equal to dB delta B plus delta B dB. And then the harmonic, uh, basic harmonic form uh, we denote uh, HB by uh, basic harmonic forms, then basic form is decomposed of uh, this form, drum composition, drum decomposition. Now we uh, introduce the transversal infinitesimal automorphism. Let Vf be the space of all vector field y on M satisfying bracket of y and g is a tangent vector of, of the polarization for all z is, uh, for all z, z is a tangent vector field. Another one, another mean, uh, in other uh, words, uh, y preserve the uh, polarization. So uh, we can uh, recall uh, element of V as a transversal infinitesimal automorphism. For example, when F is a totally geodesic of codimension 1, every killing vector field is an infinitesimal automorphism of F. Let V bar is the projection of uh, V to the normal bundle Q. Then uh, the, the element of uh, V bar F satisfies uh, parallel, uh, is parallel along to the leap. And also we have identification, the basic one form and implementation automorphism. And uh, in fact, uh, this transversal divergence theorem is very important uh, to study uh, polarized geometry. M is a closed and oriented Riemann manifold. Then the divergence of X bar, uh, transversal infinitesimal automorphism, is uh, equal to this one. So if the uh, foliation is uh, minimal, uh, just this is a uh, uh, usual um, divergence theory. And uh, uh, another one is uh, M is a compact Riemann and manifold uh, with foliation F and the bundle-like metric GM with a uh, uh, closed uh, uh, basic mean curve H form. Also, we know, <coughs> already we know uh, KB is a closed form. Naturally, this is uh, this, uh, that condition hold. So, uh, that condition, uh, delta V KB is equal to zero. At first, the, the professor Kemba um, in Illinois University uh, 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 used, used uh, these conditions 
when uh, he used this condition, he didn't know it, uh, there exists a uh, uh, bundle-like matrix satisfying this condition. Afterward, uh, uh, many uh, professors prove uh, given a bundle-like metric, then uh, we, uh, we can find another bundle-like metric satisfying uh, KB is uh, closed and co-closed. So this condition is, uh, is uh, meaningful. Uh, so uh, if the transversal rich curvature is positive definite, then KB is equal to zero. In particular, uh, F is isoparametric. In other words, K is basic. K is independent of the uh, leap. Then F is minimal. <coughs> then we define the operator AY uh, like this one. This is a transversal read derivative. And then uh, for any uh, vector field in VF, then AYS is actually this one. So AY depends only on Y bar without Y. And is a linear operator. Uh, in particular, for any basic one point P, uh, this operator is defined uh, given by this one. And also, in this way, AY can be extended to all of the basic form. So, uh, if we introduce the operator uh, second Laplacian, so-called the uh, second Laplacian, uh, like this one, because uh, this term is from the transversal divergence theory, then uh, this is a uh, uh, self joint operator. So uh, we have uh, our Byzantine formula uh, for the uh, basic Laplacian. All this formula uh, yield to ordinary uh, uh, formula on the uh, on ordinary manifold because. Uh, uh, ordinary manifold can be considered as a polarized manifold with point polarization. So, K is natural to zero. So, uh, this FP is also the uh, end morphism containing, including the curvature term. And here, P is basic one form, then uh, FP is transversal rich curvature. The type is very similar to the to the ordinary case. So we can uh, uh, scalar uh, Weisenberg formula like this one, and uh, uh, this is the uh, dual uh, dual equation. So our uh, transversal. Uh, uh, Implementation of automorphism Y as a transversal killing field means zeta Y G Q is equal to zero. Uh, this means that uh, the induced automorphism from the transversal killing field is just isomorphism, uh, isometry preserving the leap. So uh, similarly, we can define the transversal conformal field zeta y g q is two f y g q. Here f y is one over q times divergence y bar. And uh, similarly, zeta y nabla is equal to zero. Then y bar is transversal affine field. And uh, satisfy this equation, then y bar is I call the transversal projective field. So <clears throat> we uh, study uh, this uh, uh, vector field. Now we define 
uh, the operator uh, B Y mu like this one, then uh, Y by the transversal conformal transversal killing, if on the if on if uh, B Y Q over two over Q is equal to zero, transversal killing uh, B Y zero is equal to zero. Another one A Y is uh, uh, skew symmetry. So uh, now, uh, for simplicity, uh, we uh, define the uh, square B, this one, then uh, for any vector field uh, Y, uh, the following holds. First, Y by the transversal killing field, if and only if uh, this, case, this property is hold. Uh, the difference uh, to the ordinary case, ordinary case, this uh, just uh, killing field if and only for just this uh, property, this equation. So uh, F is minimal, so that uh, property yield uh, just ordinary case. And another one, Y by the transversal conformal if and only if this equation and uh, this inequality. So on a Riemannian manifold, ordinary case, any killing field is uh, R pin, is an R pin field, and also the converse holds. But on a polated manifold, uh, Every uh, transversal killing is up in. This is the same, but the converse does not, does not hold. In fact, transversal up in field Y satisfies uh, this condition. Then Y by the transversal killing field. Another one, if transversal conformal field or projective field Y by satisfies this condition, this property and this property hold, then Y by is transversal killing. As applications, uh, we uh, prove uh, this lemma, uh, so called uh, maximal principle. Uh, for the uh, basic uh, direct operation, uh, basic Laplacian. And delta B minus KB F is greater than or equal to zero or uh, uh, less than or equal to zero, then F is constant. So, uh, for any basic functions, we have the integral of uh, Laplacian F is equal to zero. And also, Y by is transversal conformal field, then, uh, we have this equation. If sigma is constant, then uh, this is equal to zero. So we have uh, equation. This equation. This one? The basic part of the mean curvature. And the sharp means the dual vector field. Yes. No. 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 Yeah. Just function. This this is function. This is vector field. Uh, dual uh, KB sharp means just uh, just the vector. Dual vector. Mean curvature vector of uh, the leaf. Because we use K is uh, mean curvature form, uh. and the dual vector. Uh, is uh, a K is sharp because uh, uh, sometimes we uh, because the, uh, this means the, uh, the uh, uh, directional derivative of F Y to the mean curvature vector P. Yes. From this equation, we. Uh, obtained. Sigma is non-positive constant. 
transverse scalar curve is non fight constant, then Fy is constant. That means Y bar is transversal homoseti. You can obtain from this one. So uh, if we, from, uh, from the before equations, uh, we can obtain um, this equation. So sigma nabla is non positive, then uh, right hand side is uh, non positive. So Fy square is constant. So on a formulation F with constant scalar curvature, uh, if M admit the transversal non-homocetic conformal field, then transversal scalar curvature is positive. So also uh, we have uh, if we uh, choose the bundle-like metric, we, we use this condition, then this uh, equation turns out this equation. So if Fy is non-constant, then sigma transversal scalar curvature is non-negative. This means the non-isometry. So, so uh, now we introduce the uh, Lichnerovich about the theorem uh, on ordinary manifold, as you know. Uh, yeah, this is Lichnerovich uh, theorem. M is closed connected Riemannian manifold, and the ridge curvature satisfy uh, this inequality for some uh, constant, a uh, part constant C. Then the first eigenvalue of the Laplacian satisfies lambda is greater than or equal to C n. In fact, equal to hold means uh, M is isometric to the uh, sphere. That is over the theorem. This. And uh, uh, 1962, Obata proved uh, this theorem. M is a compact Einstein manifold of dimension N is greater than one, than one with constant sectional coverage C. Then the following are equivalent. M is isometric to SN sphere with a constant sectional curvature C. And M admit uh, infinitesimal non-isometric conformal transformation. Uh, we can, uh, this con we, uh, instead of uh, this condition, we can use uh, infinitesimal non-homocetic conformal uh, transformation. And C3 is M admits a non-constant eigenfunction P satisfying uh, this equation. And M admits a non-constant function P such that uh, this equation. A famous theorem, I think. <laughs> this is famous. Uh, so uh, now we uh, turn that theorem to the uh, folated case. Uh, first, we define the uh, uh, define the uh, transversally isometric. Let G be a discrete group, and Riemannian foliation is transversally isometric to W G where G acts by isometries on a Riemannian manifold of W here, the, if the polarization is co-dimension Q, W is co W, the dimension of W is Q. If there exists a homeomorphism eta, uh, that is locally covered by isometries. Roughly speaking, W is locally uh, isometric to uh, the quotient space. <coughs> So 2002, uh, this is not Korean. Uh, mm. yeah, so Jeff, Jeffrey, full name Jeffrey. Uh, Lee and Richardson, MG, M, F, B are closed connected Riemannian manifold. Uh, suppose there exists constant number C, such that the transversal rich curvature 
uh, satisfy this inequality. Then the smallest non-zero eigenvalue lambda v of the basic Laplacian satisfies this inequality. Here, equality holds if and only if f is minimal and f is transversely isometric, isometric to the sphere. <coughs> and 2008, uh, this is my student, uh, it's me, this is me. Uh, MG, MFB are closed connected Riemann manifold with non-zero quantum scalar curvature. So F is transversely Einsteinian. Then if M admit the transversal conformal field, non-isometric conformal field, then F is minimal and F is transversally isometric to the Q sphere. I omit this uh, proof. <clears throat> and uh, this year, uh, I and uh, uh, this is my uh, student, not Jeffrey, uh, this is uh, Gumnan Lee and Richardson proved. M is a connected complete Riemann manifold with the Polynesian app, bundle like metric GM. Then uh, there exists uh, a solution of this equation. Then uh, MF is transversely isometric to the Q sphere. As a corollary, uh, we have from uh, from this one uh, as a corollary, we obtain many facts. Uh, 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 first. M admit the transversal non isometric transversal conformal field satisfy why is especially why is a gradient of some basic function such that uh, this condition and this condition this is weaker condition um, than the F is transversal Einsteinian so many conditions <laughs> Then F is transversely isometric to the Q sphere. And another corollary, uh, F is transversely Einstein and F is minimal. Uh, then transversal scalar curvature positive constant. Then if M is transversal non-isometric conformal field, then F is transversally isometric to the Q sphere. Uh, now we uh, uh, this uh, uh, we studied the uh, Kera polarization. Kera polarization means uh, the quotient space, uh, normal space has complex structure. J. The example, <coughs> uh, the Kera the example of Kera polarization is uh, uh, generalized Hopf vibration S two n plus one to C P n or uh, Sasakian manifold. Uh, we have many examples. Anyway, so first F is Riemannian, second uh, J is isometry and J is parallel. Then you can define the uh, two form omega like this one. Then uh, omega is basic two form. So basic two form is locally uh, expressed by this form. <coughs> and uh, we have this equation. So y bar is transversal conformal field, then um, usually we have this equation and uh, this equation. Here fa is a uh, derivative of fy to so direction uh, ea. So uh, uh, first uh, uh, result is f is carapolation and y by transversal conformal field, then we have this uh, uh, here, G GY is divergence of Y bar. If M is compact from the uh, maximal principles, uh, GY is constant. So, uh, Y bar is transversal homocity. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, on uh, the Kera case and the Riemann case, the different thing is uh, 
remaining case, uh, uh, usually we can't uh, derive the uh, divergence y bar is constant. But on the Kera case, uh, the divergence y bar is constant. So as a result from uh, before uh, theorem, uh, we obtained a Kera correlation. Any transversal conformal field is a transversal R pin. So transversal Kera curvature is non-zero constant. Then any transversal conformal field is transversal killing field. So if the core dimension Q is greater than or equal to 4, then any transversal projective field is a transversal affine field. In this, uh, in, about this fact, uh, we don't need uh, any condition of mean curvature property on, on the normal uh, Kera case. Lastly, on uh, Kera correlation of co-dimension Q on compact manifold, if uh, transversal, uh, any transversal projective field uh, satisfying this inequality, then uh, that is a transversal fielding yep, from this property. Uh, so my uh, talk uh, based on these papers, yeah, this is my, uh, and preparation and uh, this yeah this one is uh, will be appear in JMAA yeah so also uh, I want to introduce the famous uh, paper about the green theorem on a related many many and each application uh, by S. Yoros and T. Tanemura. Thank you. Are there any questions or comments?